Hey everyone, happy Friday and welcome to another edition of Friday Reads. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and you're excited to hear about the brand new book I read, which is Never Say Never by Felice Stevens and it features Ashley. And looking at this cover is, brings back memories because I shot Ashley in Manchester in England in 2019. And that was the last time I was out of the country. So I am going to read the back of the book and then tell you what I thought about it. One taste leaves them wanting more. Ingredients, Francisco Frisco Martinelli, hot and spicy, beautiful on the outside, dark and damaged on the inside, handled with extreme caution. Salvatore Torre Rossi, sweet with a kick of spice, gentle at first, can become swiftly and irrecoverable. Irre <laughs> a rep, a rep, oh my gosh, I can't speak today. <laughs> Addicted to the heart. A recipe for romance. One snobby food critic who doesn't believe in love. One down to earth food blogger who does. Add a touch of suspicious brother. A heaping serving a best friend who's been waiting for this to happen. Blend with secret identities, past hurts, and judgments. Stir in equal portions of desperate longing, desire, fear, <clears throat> and snarky humor. Set op over open flame, step back, and wait for sparks to fly. Serve as is for an explosive love story that will leave you with a full heart and a ridiculously happy smile at the end. All right, well, let me take out my notes just to make sure I don't miss anything. So Francisco, he's a food critic. And Salvatore, Tori, is a blog owner for, and his blog is New York for Real New Yorkers. Salvatore wrote an article in on his blog criticizing Francisco's restaurant reviews pretty calling him a pompous, arrogant food snob. Hmm. Not wrong. And kind of tearing apart the way he speaks and writes about these restaurants and their owners. And just, he's not a fan of the manner in which they, in which he speaks about these different restaurants. And it's the way he writes there's a way you can be not rude and an ass, pretty much. So once that article Salvatore writes goes up, Francisco now has backlash with his boss and his boss wants him to not, not only review upscale restaurants anymore, but be more versatile with the places he reviews. And that's where things get very interesting because Francisco ends up going to Salvatore's brother's restaurant, Mangia, and does a review there. And that's when they both meet, but both of them don't know each other's identity. That One's the food blogger, and then one is the food reviewer. And that's where things get very, very interesting. So we as the reader know everything, but the two characters don't. And I love how... Well, obviously, they're eventually going to find out. So that's a very interesting situation. And I just love the like anticipation of when they are going to find out. And just how those two stories interweave with it. it I really enjoyed it. Um, so Francisco is the blog owner, but then he also helps his brother with the restaurant as a waiter when he needs help. Um, so that is how the two meet and they both have paths, pasts that have hurt them and they're trying to work through that. Francisco more so is just looking for fun, um, not a relationship. Salvatore is looking to get back out in the, 
in the dating scene and seeing where that goes. And a lot happens. <laughs> My favorite um, quote from the book, and I'm going to end with this, anything can happen if you want it bad enough. And I agree, if you work hard, opportunities are endless. So having said that, I really, really enjoyed this book. Highly recommend it. There's laughter, there's sadness that the characters work through their, um, their pasts and how to move forward from that. So having said that, have you read Never Say Never by Felice Stevens? And what do you think about it? Make sure to subscribe because more Friday reads are coming soon. Have a great weekend, everyone.